we uh, knew of M1 Tunnel, but we really didn't know of M1 Tunnel. The more we started to look, everything started checking out in terms of his uh, football career. It was astonishing and all the things. And then when we got a hold of his autobiography, Footsteps of the Giant, and we looked at that and you read from him, him talking about growing up in Garrett Hill, uh, the experiences he had, which was really a rich cultural kind of a, uh, a write-up. at this point in his life, you know, that they should know about him. So they were thinking maybe doing something like a plaque. And then the more we talked, the more we thought, why not do something more heroic like him? And an over life size sculpture for the brand new township building. So it's going out in front of there. So uh, it was a process. It took over a year just to get to this point. But it, it's been a good experience for me, especially. Most people don't know of him. Most people are not aware of that one tell strangely because uh, you would think in, in today's world of heroes and things, especially what he did during World War II, which is absolutely amazing. And he did it selfless. He had no, he didn't brag ever about anything. Just took life as, as it came. And sadly, he died young at age 50 of a heart attack while he was uh, serving as an assistant coach with the New York Giants. would have been the first African-American head football coach. Uh, he pretty much has done everything and we're really interested in this August 5th will be the 50th anniversary of his being the first African-American inducted in pro football hall. And we think it's a big deal. We're trying to make sure that people are aware of this and we're continuing to build uh, and educate people on what a great man he was because he's a national figure. We believe he's an American hero. Right. Thank you very much. You're welcome.